Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, I don't know whether you've ever had problems with parents who suddenly come up with unreasonable demands or think because the, the, the pupil has missed a lesson that you can just make it up at any old time. I know I certainly have in the past and we've had big discussions about this recently um, over in the Curiosity Lounge when you're a member of the, the uh, Curious Piano Teachers. So I just thought I'd talk for a, a little bit today about what you can do to actually avoid this. And I think really my one thing is that you have to think through everything. Absolutely every situation that you could come across, you need to think it through. And actually that then becomes part of your con contract that you then make with the parents. And now is a perfect time to do that because although you're not going to go changing things right now, Obviously, the end of the academic year, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, is just in the distance. If you're there in the Southern Hemisphere and you're probably still on your holidays, great, maybe you want to think about it. Because the more you can tighten up the contract and really importantly, go through the contract with the parents and the pupil when they start lessons again, the more you can do that, the fewer problems you will have in the long run. I promise you, I really do. So there's my top tip. Really think through every single aspect of your teaching and of what it is you deliver and the behaviour that you will give and what you expect the parents and the pupil to give back to you. I certainly know that since I've been doing uh, much, much more considered contracts, the problems have just disappeared. Anyhow, I'm going to continue with this theme really for the next few weeks and come up with some of the scenarios and some of the uh, problems that I know piano teachers do have. If you've got something specific that you think uh, you'd like some help with, then drop me an email at info at curiouspiano.org or you can drop it down in the comments below. So there's two options there, info at curiouspiano.org or just pop it down on the Facebook page. And whichever way, uh, it'll get to me and I'll be able to have a look at it and I'll see if I can think of some, some um, things that you can come up with as answers to parents. All right, I hope that's helpful. Bye for now.